Greetings, comrades! I'm giving Kenneth's back for part 5 of Bloodstain, episode 62 of Blue Erosion Overkill. And uh, before we uh, clear the place out, I need to. Uh... Huh, don't have a battle spear. Hold up! I guess I won't be uh, vindicating this place. I will instead. Uh... You know what? Schwarzer's sure, work time. I will like this nice little touch here, it's frozen, like it's <laughs> no animation whatsoever, so that's a nice touch. This is ice after all. Anyway, um... <coughs> yeah, just got finished playing Skyrim again. Though I forgot, uh... The Enhanced Life and Effects mod, it kind of messes up the banner bear a little bit, like it makes a few of the bullets invisible. Never... Oh wait, I forgot about that. So I uninstalled ELFX. But honestly, I didn't see much of a change in my uh <laughs> in the actual <laughs> visuals and stuff. Because the EMB already does a good enough job with the lighting and whatnot, so I guess ELFX is kind of redundant. It kind of mess and again it messes up the banner there. There may be a few other things, but I didn't know, so that's pretty much a big one. But you know. Just deleted it and Uninstalled that mod and now it works good. Yeah. Once the key and the door are in the same room. Can you imagine? Can you imagine an actual belt fed shotgun? Like if it does, I hope it has a recoil dampening system like the AA12 or the Ultimax 100. Because imagine a follow shotgun like that, you probably it would probably destroy your shoulder if it didn't have such a feature. Heck, imagine this alone would be in the hands of Russian probably good, but as a normal regular soldier. Oh no, you'd have a hard time uh you know, moving his arms around for a while. I think that's super weapon after all. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to do a Shower Nightmare video as well as a Mugen video. I might do Mugen Infinite again. Even though it takes a long time to <laughs> load up, you know, I still enjoy that movie. Probably look up tutorials on YouTube, that's what's for you. Shouldn't be hard. I want to add like some DB Kaw and Mega Tiger Woods and maybe even Gigas. <coughs> okay, I need to get a cough drop real quick, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh, to me, halls are addictive. No, no, no. Though I have tried Ricola, I do eat Ricola too, they're pretty good too. They both do a good job, you know, soothing your throat, you know, relieving coughs. After all, is that what they're supposed to do? Okay, so I need blue key here, yellow key here, so let's go from that one. Okay, so I got the yellow key. That's where I came from, actually. I'm going down here. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm over here. Oh no, it's just the same spot. Though I haven't gone to that door yet. Oh, it's that of course. For some reason, I have no connection to Steam, even though my Wi-Fi is good. Play rough, then here you go. I don't get hurt that much, but still. Yeah, the uh, Bama tank, I usually save it for larger arena style maps and whatnot. 
You know, put it in a close quarters area or like a steep hallways. And yeah, it's gonna be a few problems. <laughs> I'm being honest, I don't even know how I get those power-ups. I just have them by by chance or something. Maybe it's when I destroy the barrels, I just pick them up, I just don't see them, or Maybe it's a random pickup from a backpack, who knows? Alright. Again, I, I'm starting. I kind of like this one. It's pretty. It's you know, simple without being too simple, and you know, for the most part, you to find your way around. Except so that previous level, that was my own stupidity. All right, red key doors. Yep, I figured the rest of the monsters be in there. There goes my shield again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that I was considering getting a sound card, but that changed my mind because of how expensive it is. They better have to save it for a graphics card at that point. Though, I am planning on getting a... Uh, a separate PCIe, like, SATA... Connection, I don't know what it's called, but it adds a few more SATA ports. Your existing motherboard. Like you have to have a empty PCIe slot available, but I have like I have quite a few actually, so I just get why I just I don't need that many, I just need like one so I can use my other hard drive, but the lowest I've seen is like four SATA ports for so, yeah, I'll get one anyway. It's like forty bucks though, but hey. And we got a golden eye mini, who would have thought? Such memories. I enjoyed that game. Probably one of the, uh... I guess you could say one of the forerunners for console first-person shooters. You know, popularized, you know, four-screen multiplayer. You know, playable campaigns. We can go back to levels and stuff. And of course, it's one of the few good movie-based games. Even for the time, there weren't that many great movie-based video games. And how about the lava pool inside a glacier? Or, you know, Arctic wasteland, whatever we will call it. I will admit, this is kind of fitting music, because this is a, this is a cavern theme, GoldenEye. And we are in a, in a cavern sort, so it actually makes sense. There's a blue key, but I can't get it. So I got to go there somehow. I doubt I can run across. I can't. Oh, shit. And oddly, lava does not hurt me. Oh, I found a secret. What a thought. So I can get the blue key. But yeah, get about. Oh, another secret. I already have a vindicator, so there you go. Anyway, yeah, um, if I still have my N64, I'm still planning on doing Nintendo 64 emulation. That just one emulator called Project 64. Using that. Oh. Man, this brings back memories. I remember the facility level. In order to get the, uh, unlock the invincibility cheat, you had to complete the level in a certain level at double O, at a certain time at double O agent, and I could never do it. I got all the other cheats at the time, but that invincibility code, I just could not get it at all. Like, no matter how I tried, I just couldn't do it. 
Now, that might change when I do a formulation, because apparently, apparently there's a, there's a file that lets you use, like, a keyboard and mouse controls for GoldenEye, which I think would actually be pretty interesting to see, because, you know, if you play GoldenEye on N64, you know the controller, you know, it must be a little slow pace, you know, the hardware at the time, you know, was exactly capable of you know, stuff like this. It's kind of slower paced because you had to like take your time. You're a secret agent after all. You're not like Rambo or the Terminator. Okay, maybe there's a switch I can pull or something. Oh, but yeah, I think there's a switch I can pull or something. But anyway, uh, yeah. I'll admit, even at the time, uh, this might be, uh, it's more of a personal preference, but, uh, I'll be honest, I never really liked the Nintendo 64 controller. I mean, after you use it a little bit, you get used to it, but, I don't know, it's just the shape of it, you know. I mean, it's an iconic controller, at least in terms of, you know, aesthetics, but you actually use it, you know, it takes up getting used to. <laughs> and as someone who, you know, who kind of grew to uh, dual stick controls, which were definitely the, the PlayStation One. That that was the system that did the whole thing, popularized it. That's why you see, you know, a car controller such as a PlayStation Two controller or the, the Xbox controllers. You know, heck, even the GameCube had a dual stick setup, even though. It's a little unorthodox, but you gotta commend Nintendo for trying something different. You got a control stick and a C stick. You know the C buttons on the Nintendo 64 controller? Well, they kind of translated it to a C stick, you know. <coughs> Can you believe it? I still have StarCraft 64. I used to play that game to death back in the day. Not with the PC version. Not as to death. Cool version, but I did beat the game to death. I even made my own maps. Though <laughs> I have them saved on floppy disks, but right now it's kind of impossible for me to move stuff from a floppy disk to a USB drive. I was having like an adapter or something, like a separate, you know, five and a quarter inch drive floppy drive, but, uh, okay, you know, CDs are already, you know, becoming quote-unquote obsolete enough, but can you imagine somebody in 2018 still using floppy disks? Like, come on, keep up with the times. This isn't 1989 anymore. Now, how do I get the yellow key? That's what I want. I don't see a switch or anything. Oh! Okay, I wasn't aware that was a ladder, huh? Who would have thought? Yeah, I keep talking about, you know, N64 stuff. So that, that's because when I heard this music, I immediately thought Goldeneye. Yeah, it's Goldeneye. And then, you know, let's talk about, you know, N64 controller, emulation. Okay, I got to put the switches. Okay! That explains why there's a super weapon there. Ow. What are you saying, Alpha? I am Russian. We're used to nuking each other. Well, I still die from it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many... Ooh. I'm not gonna bother with this video this time. But yeah... <laughs> I know I have Doom 64. Spider Masterminds and the Cyber Demons, how about that? Go all out, eh? Well, as will I. Just in case there are survivors, you know. But yeah, I have Doom 64, of course. And I have Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I forgot I still have that game, man. And all the. the PS1 version lets you play as the boss characters. 
But even without that at the time, you know, the N64 version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy was just packed with content. Granted, it's still not perfect. And I remember people complaining at the time that uh, it didn't exactly take advantage of the N64's hardware at the time. You have Turok Dinosaur Hunter, and you know, Blast Core, and Super Mario 64 that did that job. And that game. I wish I had the original Turok games, but I don't but that's why they're on Steam. I just want to have Turok freeze over to break Steam. I don't remember, was it console exclusive? I don't know. And I, of course, I had StarCraft 3. I had Command & Conquer 64 too, but, you know. It was nice to have 3D models. But even back in the day, I sucked with RTS games. Dang, I I don't know, switch over there. I don't know if I flipped it or not. Oh yeah, I forgot to flip that switch. Oh, there we go. I was not to touch it. No. I guess it doesn't make you invincible. I thought it did. Okay. Just for the sake of the mark is dying again. Died anyway. <laughs> the Purgatory Gateway. What's this? You knew it wasn't a good idea to jump into that portal decorated with the corpses of Marines. In a blink of an eye, you get dismembered to a thousand pieces. After a prompt moment of terrible pain comes darkness. But after a few moments of nothingness, you feel your body being reassembled. You incorporated in yeah, you guessed it, right. In hell. Well, looks like it's time to kick some demonic asses at their own playground. Oh, I should have put again. <laughs> I could aim, but with this thing, I don't have to. Oh, secret there. All right. See, so, yeah, I'm still gonna get a, a separate SATA port, a SATA card, I guess you want to call it so I can at least use my other hard drive, but it's still in my computer, it's just not plugged in. I think if I run out I always get a new one. Though, I think if I get a new hard drive, I'm gonna go for one of those 10 terabyte ones. I know it's a little overkill, but, you know, I heard they're faster than the regular, these regular 2 terabyte, 3 terabyte hard drives. Okay, so, we need two keys, and I have no idea where they are. We have to look around. Oh, I found another secret. How about that? Yeah, just watch one. Nice to use, but let's uh, let's do a racing system. Like, I could have sworn that extreme sphere makes you invincible. I remember doing that one, I guess it was fixed it. Or maybe I need to give it time to. Is it me or is the MIDI echoing inside the little cave here? damage sound. Does he 
your key. Another secret, this is plain spite. as much as I can. Ah! Do it. Number four in a game, you imagine I you say I killed somebody with shotgun shells. I mean, the actual shells, not the, you know, actually shooting with the shotgun, the actual shells. That could be, be like, Lord Rhodes. Huh. Yellow key. There's also a feature you can we collect the shells. Though in this case, in this case, it's kind of redundant, you know. Oh, another one. of suffering. I could aim, but the this thing, I don't have to put myself on my little perch. Okay, um... Yeah, that's good. You know, I might as well turn on homing blitz. Even though the tracers will look weird. Pencils at them with the homing bullets they put on it. The bullets actually, you know, homing out of the targets. I had a feeling those are crushers. Shame the tank shells aren't homing, but it's homing bullets, not homing tank shells. And so if you already have one. Imagine a gate opening like that. Oh, that's where I came from. Oh, what the heck? Plan on getting another chair aim, later on. But there's no urgency at the moment. I do need another footrest, though. Where are those Nazi phrases from? Call of Duty 2? small little mind F there, but oh well. If you're busy killing stuff, it's hardly noticeable. Okay, 
expecting an ambush. Okay. Torture chamber here. Wow. He, okay. He, he's crushed on his head. His arm fell off. That makes sense. I think that's not supposed to happen with this, but hey. Okay, that one makes sense. Um. I bet that's supposed to explode. He's a, he's a Russian. He's a Russian overkill barrels. Yeah, those barrels are destroyed. Anyway. Yeah, I remember Car Kill Nation mentioned Allegian. Uh, there, his uh, 2016 top albums, like, uh, was it Proponent to Sentience? That's their latest album. Definitely going to check that album out. But first, to get the build up a Mother Moth collection. I'm going to start their new album, Yom's Viking, and the Sea the Gods, and I will work my way backwards. Got the wait, right? Key goes over here. Hell, nice in here. It's the not the best map. I'm pretty sure a regular Doom to be like regular. Use the regular Wolfenstein Nazi sprite. Crazy, but I'm not sure if they're meant for this mob, this water. I know it's not the Super Nazi thing, because they used that before I did this one. They look like the regular Wolfenstein Nazis. Okay, that's a feeling they open up the gate. That one. Puzzle things. Oh, there we go. Thing. Where do we move? I keep forgetting the regular blasts home in home in the targets too. So. That button. I'll open this gate. Or was that already open? I don't know. That's so I hate switch puzzles. I mean, that the track from this one, any. It's just, uh, personally, I don't like. I don't like switch puzzles. You know. Open the uh, video key? Yes, it did. Oh, what the heck? That was weird. 
Anyway. See, funny how one blast and this well to be fair I was using the uh, Petrovic here. So that might have been good. Okay. I was about to say funny how one blast can kill Spider Man Swine, but it takes like two or three or more to kill Cyber. Of course a Vindicator will do that a lot faster. I think I was meant to kill him. Oh, Perdition. Let's clear this out real quick. And that's where we'll end this video, comrades. I might have another Russian Overkill video up tomorrow. But of course, uh, as I mentioned, I'll be doing a Shareware Nightmare video. And maybe another Mugen video. So until then, this is uh, part 5 of Bloodstain, Episode 62 of BRO. This is Evan Caleb signing out.